Hello guys, what's up? So today I'm gonna show you some tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to setting up your PC SX so your PC SX will get better FPS when playing some games in it. Uh, before we get before we get started, guys, please note before we get started, you know that everyone have different specification about their computer right and you know you and me have different specification of our computer so in order to setting up your own PCS X2 and to get better performance on your computer you need to know more about your CPU you need to know more about your GPU so if you want to know more about your CPU you can download CPU Z let me show you you can download this application it called CPU Z CPU Z or CPU ID if you want to download this application I put the link in the description below so make sure you check my description right this is CPU Z and if you want to know more about your GPU uh, you can load GPU Z I put the link in the description below same as CPU Z I put the link in the description so if you want to download GPU Z you check my description alright um, yeah. okay let's just get started oh yeah before we get started I want to tell you that I have PCSX 1.2.1 version version, version 1.2.1 oh yeah I'm sorry guys I just want to say sorry because the language in my my PCSX language is my country language it's not English language sorry but it's not really it's not really different very much uh, yeah okay let's just get started I think <laughs> first of all you go to configuration here it called configuration in English configuration and you go to plugin BIOS and this is it you just need to change GS and SP, SPU2 to change the uh, sound first of all we're gonna change the GS before you change the GS Please note that you need to know you need to know you need to know more about your CPU. I want to open my CPU Z by the way. Um, yeah, this one CPU Z. Why do I close it anyway? Sorry guys. <coughs> wait, just wait a minute. One taking a long time. Get it. No, it's taking a long time by the way. So. You have so many options here, right? In GS, you have so many options. Like, you can use AVX or AVX2, SSE2, SSE441, or SSE3. Yeah, you can change it whatever you want based on your computer specification. If your computer have AVX, I recommend that you to use AVX because I think it's better than the other option. If you don't have FVX but you have SSE2 or SSE4, yeah, you click SSE4 or SSE2. It based on your computer what what kind of GPU you have on your computer. Uh, in my case, I, I can use AVX, so I want to choose AVX right here. What the? Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah. If you want to know more about your CPU, you can download CPU Z and you got you get down to CPU, get down to processor instruction right here. And you will see your CPU processor instruction. I have MMX, SSE, SSE2, SSE3, SSE, SSE3, SSE4.1, SSE4.2, VTX, AAX, AVX, I have AVX right here. AVX2 or FMA3 so yeah it's whatever you choose something like this if you have SSE2 then you go to here and change it to SSE2 but if you have AVX I recommend that you to choose AVX because I think it's better than the other option alright that's enough thank you CPU Z by the way what the alright okay AVX right here yeah AVX I choose AVX and you go to configuration right here configuration it it call it configuration in English oh yeah I I'm running PCSX version 1.2.1 so if your version is older than me or even newer than me maybe you have 
maybe you will have a little bit different setting if you if your version is different with me but I think it's not really matter very much it's not really matter and adapter you choose your GPU your G- graphic graphic card I have NVIDIA GeForce G it is 740m so I choose NVIDIA GeForce right here renderer in renderer if your computer is compatible with direct 11 so I recommend you to choose the direct 11 but if your computer is not compatible with direct 11 I recommend you to change it to yeah direct 3d9 hardware but I have direct 3d11 so choose it direct 3d11 hardware in the interlacing interlacing you click auto on it original PS2 res- resolution you click you check the box native yeah just leave it like so native and get down here to hardware mode setting you will found a box like this texture filtering you click half check okay half check do not fully check but half check right here half check it look like a square in it half check okay yeah and then click done and for the sound you can go to SPU and click configuration again yeah basically this is the sound on sound option on your game on PCSX so yeah just apply my setting guys apply my setting it's like this I change it to cubic and disable effects processing to prevent reverb on your game sound uh, yeah just apply my setting like this All right click OK and then if you don't and yeah you're pretty good now we go to here uh, emulation option yeah here emulation option or emulation configuration I think here emulation configuration and then you go to um, first of all we need to go in here and yeah this is the default setting by the way in here just leave it like so in this is yeah apply my setting like this in EEC E I O P Recompler, Recompler, Chop Zero, Normal. Okay, apply my setting and then go to here. Recompler, Micro Full, Recompler, Micro Full, Chop Zero, Normal. Yeah, apply it again. My setting like right here. Go to GS. Mm, mm, yeah, you, you don't need to change anything. I think here you don't need to change anything. This is the default default setting by PCSX this is the default so you don't need to change something I think but if you want to change it it's okay you can change it whatever you want like 60 or 7 70 um, yeah. yeah you can change it whatever you want if you want to but I I'm not gonna change I'm not gonna change it so I I leave it like so uh, if you want to I think you better do not disable the frame limiting do not disable frame limiting except you have very good performance on your computer uh, yeah don't check it if your computer is not really good don't check it okay we just gonna go to uh, Windows GS and yeah you can change it whatever you want it's just resolution this is only the resolution this is not really important for your FPS anyway you go to speed hack now. This is the real deal. This is the real deal, guys. Um. Oh, yeah. You you wanna activate the speed hacks, right? Activate the speed hack first. And in my case, uh, the EEC dread I change it to right here three, the higher values. Three. I change it to three. And in full cycle stealing, I. T- uh, change it to around 2.5 I think here yeah. right yeah change it to like this so yeah just apply my setting and test it out and in another hack uh, you check the four box like this activate the INTC spin detection activate the weight loop and and hack for micro full flag hack mfu you check it and empty view ah this is it empty view is multi-threaded micro view 
if you if your computer have quad core processor i recommend that you to to check this box if your computer is have quad core processor but if your computer is only dual core processor yeah never mind you can check it anyway never mind if your computer is having dual core or quad core processor i recommend that you to check all of this box one two three four you don't need to check this box you don't need to check this box you don't need to just check the box here one two three four okay for hack another hack and hack for micro foo all right yeah just apply my setting here guys apply my setting and if your if your computer didn't found a better performance so i think you can mess around with it you can change it whatever you want yeah until you get better performance but for me it's good it's good for me yeah yeah that's enough go to game fixes uncheck the game fixes you don't need to you don't need to do something here just uncheck it i better uncheck it because it's it's not really matter anyway you click you click apply click ok and right now we're gonna test it out i i'm gonna play the warriors guys you know the warriors is heavy game by the way the warriors is heavy game i think in playstation 2 gonna check it out how is it how, is, how many frames per second do i have now as you can see up here i have 59 to 60 frames per second it's on the loading screen i have 59 to 60 frames per second all right we're gonna yeah we're gonna play a little bit to know the fps now on the actual gameplay my frames per second is about 57 to 60 frames per second i want to go out and do some stuff and do some action on outside of this hangout and see the frames per second on the outside all right let's go now i'm gonna run when i'm running my frames per second is about 50 58 i think 58 to 63 frames per second sometime and now i'm gonna destroy the car and see the fps okay make him wreck this crap all right it's about now when i'm the press the car it's about 56 to 56 to 60 frames per second now let's try some fighting moves uh all right when I'm fighting, I have uh, shut up, cops. Let me finish my sentence. God damn it, you! Come on, let me finish my sentence. All right. When I'm fighting, I have about 50 to 60 frames per second, right? I think it's pretty good, right? 50 to 60 frames per second is pretty good, right? For me, it's pretty good. 50, 55 to 60 frames per second is pretty good on VCSX. So yeah, I think the setting is working on me. But I don't know in your computer is it working or no because you know you and me have different specification, right, on our computer. So maybe you same with me. It's running smoothly or maybe even worse. But I don't know. Let's try it. You can try it at home. Yeah, I have. Yeah, my frames per second is about 50 to 60 frames per second, It's which is pretty good, right? Which is pretty good. It's pretty good. 50 to 60 frames per second I have. It's very good. Look at this. Yeah, it's about 55 to 60 frames per second. Pretty good. It never, never dropped to 40 or even 30. It's never dropped to 40 or 30. Oh yeah. I want to do some frame page to see the fps when i get angry here i got them let it go please let it go oh snow arrested no snow ah! i'm almost dead are you kidding me cop you do why do you kill civilian man cops you can't do that shit why do you kill civilian God damn it. Yeah, you can see it, guys. The frames per second is about 55 to 60 frames per second. I think it's very good, right? Very good. 
Yeah, I love this FPS. It's about 50 to 60 frames per second. It's pretty amazing. I know you're out there. Ah, you dead, stupid cops. And see the FPS. Yeah, the FPS is pretty good. It's it's still about 55 to 60 frames per second I have. That's yeah, pretty good, right? As you guys see, this setting is work for me. Whoa! No mess with me, cops. Don't mess with me. Ah! How do you see me? Ah! I'm sick running away. Ooh, 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 I made it. Yeah, it's work for me, guys. I don't know in your computer. Alright. I should care. Alright, that's enough. Yeah, as you guys can see, it's working very nice on me. This this setting is working very nice on my computer, so... Yeah, this is my best way to setting up my PCSX. If you... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy my video. If you think my video was helpful, why don't you give me a like, give a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, see ya.